Hi guys, I want to run through a mnemonic for cellular transport. Cellular transport is all to do with the movement of solutes in and out of cells. Such processes may require energy, such as active transport, or others will be passive, such as simple diffusion. In any case, we're going to create a visual schematic that brings all the relevant concepts together. So let's start with simple diffusion, which is defined as the passive movement of solutes, such as gases or liquids, from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. Now, here's a hill. This here is good old Bob. Bob's goal is to go down the hill in his sled and pass through the finish line as fast as possible. So let's make the associations. Bob is at the top of the hill or at high concentration. Bob goes down the hill in his sled and as a result doesn't exert much energy, which means it's a passive process, much like simple diffusion. He crosses the finish line, which is a semi-permeable membrane or the phosphobilipid layer, and reaches the bottom of the hill, essentially the area of low concentration. Therefore, the movement is occurring down the concentration gradient instead of against. So instead of memorising the entire sentence, which I could, I've created a visual aid that encompasses all the relevant keywords, concepts, and most importantly, the order of them, so that I don't forget to mention them all. Got it? Awesome. Now let's do facilitated diffusion. Now I'm going to draw a tunnel that Bob has to go through to get to the bottom of the hill. This is going to be representative of facilitated diffusion, defined as the passive movement of solutes, such as ions, glucose and amino acids, from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration through specific transmembrane protein channels within the phosphobilipid layer. The tunnel represents the specific transmembrane protein channels, which are key in the movement of ions such as sodium and potassium down their concentration gradients. These are key in altering the resting membrane potential of cells. Lastly, we'll go through active transport, defined as the energy requiring movement of solutes across the plasma membrane from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration, now against a concentration gradient. This is actually the case with the sodium potassium pump, which consumes ATP in order to maintain the resting membrane potential of cells and generate electrical transmission in axons. Without this, you'd be dead. Now, fortunately for Bob, he has to carry his sled all the way up the hill once he's finished the race. Poor Bob. Bob starts at the bottom of the hill, an area of low concentration, and trudges all the way up to the top, which is the area of high concentration. He's walking up the hill, therefore he consumes energy in this process. Now this association ticks every keyword and term within the definition itself, but it again provides a platform for memory recall and contextual understanding, which is so important in your exams. I hope you like this one. Have a go at drawing it up yourself so it's easier for you to memorise. I'll see you next episode.